What if extinction wasn't permanent? Thanks to cutting edge genetics and ancient DNA, scientists are attempting the unthinkable, bringing extinct animals back to life. From icy mammoth graveyards to preserved cells in lab freezers, researchers are pushing the boundaries of biology and ethics to rewrite nature's rulebook. Today, we're diving into eight more extinct animals that scientists are actively trying to bring back. These aren't the usual suspects. You won't see woolly mammoths or Tasmanian tigers here. Instead, we're exploring lesser known but equally incredible de-extinction candidates. Each species was carefully chosen for its ecological impact, scientific potential, or mysterious past. And the last one? It could rewrite what we know about evolution itself. Once abundant across the eastern United States, the heath hen was a close relative of the prairie chicken. By the early 20th century, it was restricted to Martha's Vineyard, where the last confirmed individual died in 1932. But scientists at Revive and Restore are using museum specimens and DNA from related species to attempt a comeback. Their goal is to engineer prairie chickens with heath hen traits and reintroduce them to restored grasslands. The project is not just about the bird. It's a prototype for restoring lost genes, traits, and ultimately, full species. If successful, it could become one of the first modern examples of genomic rewilding. Some ecologists argue that restoring the heath hen could also revive unique interactions with native plants and insects that depended on it, indirectly healing multiple parts of its vanished ecosystem. Native to North Africa, this elegant antelope went extinct in the wild by the early 2000s due to overhunting and habitat loss. Fortunately, they survived in zoos and private reserves. Scientists and conservationists have launched rewilding efforts using animals bred in captivity. Thanks to satellite collars, habitat monitoring, and intensive veterinary care, scimitar horned oryx are now being reintroduced into protected areas of Chad. This effort isn't cloning, but it's a powerful example of how advanced genetics and tracking technology can revive species before they disappear entirely. Their success may open the door for bringing back other extinct in the wild animals, using frozen embryos and assisted reproduction. Moreover, their reintroduction serves as a living model of how artificial populations can be engineered to survive and adapt in modern climates, even as desertification spreads. The haunting, flute-like song of the Kauai O'o once echoed through the Hawaiian rainforests. Declared extinct in the 1980s, the last known male was recorded calling for a mate that would never return. But hope isn't entirely lost. Scientists have extracted DNA from museum skins and teams are exploring the possibility of using closely related honey eaters as surrogates. Although reintroducing it to the wild would be a massive challenge, especially with continued habitat destruction, this case is emotionally charged. The return of the Kauai O'o would be as much a symbolic restoration as a biological one. It could also set a precedent for the revival of other extinct island birds lost to invasive species and deforestation. Imagine the return of the Kauai O'o not just as a biological victory, but as a national moment of healing for Hawaii's unique and rapidly vanishing avian culture. One of North America's most mysterious extinct birds, the Labrador duck vanished in the late 1800s. Unlike other species, no one is entirely sure why it disappeared. It was never abundant, and its breeding grounds remain unknown. Geneticists believe that understanding and possibly reviving the Labrador duck could offer rare insight into extinction causes. DNA has been extracted from preserved skins, and with a close relative, the Scoter duck, still around, hybrid cloning is being explored. Though the mystery surrounding this bird deepens the challenge, it also fuels the fascination. Solving one of ornithology's greatest puzzles might begin with bringing the species back to life. If revived, the duck could act as a biological probe, helping researchers explore the ecological roles of vanished freshwater species and how wetlands respond to modern environmental stress. 
These massive, flightless birds once roamed Madagascar. Standing over 10 feet tall and weighing over 1,000 pounds, the elephant bird was the heaviest bird to ever live. They vanished around 1,000 years ago, likely due to human hunting and habitat destruction. But scientists have recovered well-preserved DNA from eggshells and bone fragments. De-extinction researchers are exploring whether modern ostriches or emus could serve as surrogate parents for an engineered embryo. The goal is not to replicate the exact species, but to revive a bird that fills its ecological niche. If successful, it would be the closest thing we've had to a real-life giant bird since prehistoric times, and a powerful reminder of what ancient island ecosystems once held. Their return could also ignite ecotourism and fund conservation efforts on the island, creating a rare fusion of scientific discovery and local economic development. Discovered in the 1700s and hunted to extinction within 27 years, Stellar Sea Cow was a giant, gentle marine mammal related to today's manatee and dugong. It grew up to 30 feet long and lived in the icy waters of the Bering Sea. Despite being extinct for over 250 years, well-preserved bones and skin samples have provided fragments of its genome. Marine biologists and geneticists are exploring whether manatees could be genetically modified to express Stellar's traits, creating a cold-tolerant hybrid that restores the sea cow's lost ecological role. Its return could help maintain kelp forest ecosystems that are now collapsing due to climate change and sea urchin overgrazing. If reintroduced successfully, the sea cow could become a flagship species for Arctic marine restoration and change how we manage marine conservation globally. A subspecies of the plain zebra, the quagga went extinct in the 1880s. It was unique, striped in the front and solid brown in the back. South African scientists have been selectively breeding zebras with quagga-like traits in an ambitious program called the Quagga Project. Rather than cloning, this method involves backbreeding, selecting animals with ancestral traits to gradually recreate the appearance and behavior of the original quagga. Dozens of quagga-like zebras now roam protected reserves, and they closely resemble historical descriptions. The project raises big questions. Is restoring appearance enough, or should we strive for exact genetic matches? Either way, it's a remarkable experiment in turning back time through selective breeding. The Tarpan, a wild horse native to Europe, went extinct in the early 20th century. These compact, rugged animals inspired myths and paintings dating back to prehistoric times but their genes live on in domestic horse populations, particularly the conic and heck horses. Selective breeding programs across Europe are aiming to restore a tarpan-like phenotype, creating horses with the size, color, and behavior of the original wild species. They are already being reintroduced to forests and steppes to help manage landscapes naturally, reducing the need for human interference. Their presence in modern rewilding projects has sparked excitement as they play a role in biodiversity and even wildfire prevention through natural grazing. The idea of bringing back extinct animals is no longer science fiction, it's a frontier of science fact. But with each project comes a host of questions. Should we do it? Can we do it responsibly? What happens when the environment they knew is gone? Whether for redemption, curiosity, or conservation, de-extinction forces us to rethink life, loss, and our role in nature. Which of these animals would you want to see reborn? Like, subscribe, and comment below!